you guys welcome back to our channel it's hashtag roxy and we are back with another video so today you guys kind of check in with you guys and talk to you guys about like what's been going on what we've been up to um while we haven't been posting as much on youtube lately i mean you know that we've been at least posting one video a week i feel like we haven't really talked about like what we've been doing and like kind of like give you we wanted to give you guys like an update um this was lee's idea sorry guys my chair is like squeaking i'm really not farting uh -huh. <laughs> <Good chair. laughs> um so this was lee's idea to kind of like update you guys on what's been going on um how content creating content creator life style has been for me and how that's been going it's been going really 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 well um i have actually been we have i should say we have been extremely successful so far he actually told me that i'm a lot further than what he expected me to be i expect too, like yeah. a little bell curve and it's yeah. like okay we're gonna peak at like i don't know start ramping up at a, yeah. at a year and mm -hmm. really for first few months it was like okay learning curve learning curve and then just bam it started taking off yeah and it mm, <laughs> so proud it really has so just to kind of give you guys a general idea the first month that i quit my nine to five job um we pulled in about like six thousand dollars from social media stuff all together so that's like youtube tiktok um uh, Instagram I'm under contract with another company for like my personal um, rock slay brand so all of that together we were able to pull in about like six thousand dollars now money has been consistent for us as far as like what we've been making monthly but February was probably just like very equal yeah, to what February I made was close. it was very February was cutting it close to what I made um, every uh, month at my nine to five so needless to say i haven't we haven't been like broke or anything like that but we had a plan like we said before i don't recommend that people just quit their jobs without a backup plan like we had a savings we have a savings account um we're still saving which is great um you know and then we had this whole thing kind of like planned out so something big that happened to us was uh working with a big brand like papa john's so if you guys are following us on Instagram, um, you probably saw the Papa John's post when that happened back in March. So we're now in April. And um, if you're not following us on Instagram, <laughs> you definitely should be. You definitely should be. Roxley official, but mm -hmm. you, you know. Put it down below if you knew. <laughs> and we also post a lot of like funny clips on Roxley on reels and stuff like that. But um Needless to say, we got a really big brand deal with Papa John's. I was super stoked, stoked, super excited. I was the one who actually reached out to them and I pitched to them and I really wasn't expecting to hear back from them. Like they told me to email them and everything and I emailed and pitched and then like I think a week or two weeks later they responded back and said they wanted to work with us. Um, we negotiated something and I was super excited to have like a big brand under our belts that we've actually worked with. So um i've gotten a lot better at negotiating with uh brands i took a, i actually took a course um what was what did i take that course in february i took a course in february um right after our um anniversary i took a oh, course yeah, yeah that's right i took that course then and i've also connected with a lot of like my content creator friends on instagram who has helped me a lot like as far as like they've they've shown me their templates and like what they say to brands and stuff like that so that has helped me tremendously um and then it's just like with our instagram account blowing up like people just started reaching out to us to work with us so that's pretty cool we've secured a few deals this month um some of which we haven't done quite like actually recorded or done yet uh, because if you're a content creator you kind of know how that goes it's not like you secure a deal and you make a post tomorrow about it you know what i mean so <laughs> there's like there's like a process you go through emailing negotiating you go through figuring out a live date um when they're going to send the product when you're going to record or take pictures for the product so it's a whole process it's a whole thing um but needless to say like i've been loving it like to be very honest i've been a lot like less like stressed I'm more relaxed. I'm not like as tense as I used to be. 
And that has actually made me much more relaxed and less dense than I used to be. <laughs> oh yeah. It's, you can definitely tell like with our relationship as well, like I'm not like as like, Arr! like after, you know, a sales day at work. But um, needless to say, I love it. It's not, I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you like it's easy because it's like not easy. Um, but it's worth it and I love it. Like, I feel like when you're doing something you love, it doesn't even feel like a job for real, like like that. See, that's actually on you know something I mean? that you always tell me every weekend, every weekend. I can't wait for Monday. Mm -hmm. But what I find really funny about this is like, you were working a nine to five job, but then you, you leave that to be your own boss. Yeah. And you're not working a nine to five job. You're actually working like a 7 a.m. to sporadically 9, 10 p.m. So you're like always working. We're Literally, doing I'm stuff always on the working. weekends. Mm -hmm. and, I'm always working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and one of the best things, because I, I just have to say it, everyone on here is going to be like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to quit and go straight to content creation. However, we had a plan. I'm still working. We had already built a good following. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like, oh, we're just gonna start from scratch and just, we're gonna pop up. No, yeah. like there was a lot that was even going into it when we were both working the nine to five. Yeah, there was a lot going into it. Um, now it's like we record and um, do content two days out of the week. So people always ask us like, how do, you, how do you do it? How do you manage? How do you keep up with all these things? We bash record. So we pick a day either throughout the week um, or on the weekend. Um, I say about two to three days. Sometimes we do like three days a week, but um, not like a full day though. Like if we pick a day during the week where we do like just two reels or TikToks, we just save them, you know, just to kind of like add to the list that we already have. So it's important to bash record everything. Um, and like Lee said, like don't just like quit your job have a backup plan like lee still works um which is great but it, it's not he's not in a position we're not in a position where he's like you know scraping for coins or whatever like we're not paycheck I mean? to paycheck we're not yeah we, we're definitely not um and that's <clears throat> pretty nice that, like, that, that I, I, I don't job. like to feel like you know living paycheck to paycheck that's not I, I always wanted to kind of like get out of that. And the wedding has did like done so much for us because we learned how to save like big time. <laughs> and budget. We learned how to budget and save big time. So now it's like, um, even if it's something that we want and we definitely can afford it, we still like to um, budget things out um, because essentially we don't want to get to the point of just blowing all the money that we have, obviously, but um, yeah it's been it's been great i love it i look forward to mondays surprisingly i'm always looking forward to mondays now like i get so excited um, i manage two different youtube accounts two different instagram accounts TikTok. i'm constantly emailing um so it's like when lee gets off work you know we eat dinner and stuff like that and then it's like while we're watching a tv show i may respond to an email from a brand or I may respond to someone. Yeah, literally, because it's, it's like I'm always working. Which will then snowball. Like, yeah. yeah, you respond to an email, but then all of a sudden you're like, oh, did I miss an email? Oh, I missed an email. Oh, let me research on that. And then yeah. it just ends up going. Or we end up having to pause it to talk about things. Like, <laughs> hey babe, what do you think of this? Is this something you want to do? Because it's important to have those conversations. Um, and then another good thing that we've been doing is that we try to take one day out of the weekend for us and to relax we don't like to work both saturday and sunday especially for lee i don't like doing that to him because he works a nine to five he works monday through friday right so having to yeah having to tell him hey you're gonna work saturday and sunday as well like i don't like doing that to him so we like to pick a day throughout the week where it's like after work we can squeeze a couple of things in and then a day on the weekend where we batch record a whole lot of stuff. Like we might be tired, um, but we'll start like in the morning, not even like super early, we'll start probably like 11 a.m. ish, depending on when I'm done getting ready. And then we'll be done by like four, four o'clock ish. Give or take. About four o'clock ish, yeah. It just really depends. Um, but nonetheless, it's been great. 
Yeah, okay. and the hard part about batch recording is keeping the same energy all the way through. Oh we, my god, yeah. We don't want to just put out some crap-ass stuff and it's like, oh, hey, yeah, um... Oh my god, no. yeah. <laughs> we have to have energy and then we'll like do other takes of it too. It's like, your energy needs to be here. Or like, I don't like the way you look in this. Or like, so sometimes it takes, it's not just, oh boom, we're recording, we're done. We want to perfect it. And I think that's what's made us so successful with like Instagram and stuff like that is because we want to be relatable um, to our audience and we don't want to be like dead as well. That dog is so cute. <laughs> There's a dog outside, I'm just like, that dog is so cute. Um, but yeah. But not only do we record and re-record, but when we do those clips and videos, when we have to have those mega knees, oh. it's a whole workout. And let me tell you, I, I can't do it. So like if I have to be in that kind of position, I'm sitting. My my knees. My knees will give out. to give out. I'm like I'm too old for this stuff. But um. But it's just repeat. <laughs> like you you want to just do it once and you're done. And you're like okay, yeah. I'll think. No, not yeah. with this one at least. Yeah. Now, granted, if it was just me, it's <laughs> like okay, yeah, that that's good enough. Um, what do they say? Good enough for government work. <laughs> but no, the whole Roxley Roxley brand has to be perfection yeah it does and it's like at first we thought this was gonna be just a youtube thing but knowing that we've expanded and been able to make money <clears throat> through tiktok and all these other like different avenues is so amazing and so great um and that's why we still try to upload at least like one um or two videos for you guys um per week not only to stay engaged with our audience but to also um keep all of our streams of income going in a sense because we don't want to just like you know just like stop recording and just like say screw youtube because youtube is kind of like our first love like this is where we started yeah so that and let's not yeah. lie everyone watching this video doesn't follow us on tiktok and instagram and instagram not all yeah, maybe you just sure. follow us here and we're here to give you the entertainment that you want you deserve yeah. from us absolutely for sure. But um, yeah, with that, with all that being said, guys, um, definitely be on the lookout. We are working on some things, um, especially for people who always ask us how to find um, like your soulmate and stuff like that, or how to online date and things like that. We are gonna, we are working on something um, that we're so excited about and it'll be out probably in like a few months or so, maybe less, but yeah, we're just so excited. We've been doing a whole lot and we just kind of wanted to check in with you guys and update. This was Lee's idea and I think it was a great idea to kind of like talk to you guys and tell you guys what's been going on, what we've been doing. Um, but we love you guys so much. We appreciate you guys so much. Um, we are trying to upload a little bit more on YouTube, at least one to two, like I said, or at least two videos. We're, at least two we're videos. trying for two. We're trying for two. Speaking of, you remember- Three is that, hard. You remember that time you are like, oh, let, let's do three, Lee. But at the time, we only we weren't really on Instagram like that. And just to kind of let you guys know, because I'm sure people might be wondering, when I quit my job, um, we only have like 50,000 followers on Instagram. And how many do we have now? We're at 258,000 followers on Instagram now. So, just to kind of give you perspective and an idea, um, we've been going in hard and working hard. We have. So. <laughs> we have. A lot of videos that really hit the ground running over millions of views mm -hmm. and big verified um, it's Lee's ball head it's his ball head it's his ball head you know don't be hating the ball head gets them every time it's the ball <laughs> head for me all right guys we don't want to make this too long I feel like it's already like 15 minutes or so so bad, um, it's okay uh, not your fault mine I've been rambling we've both been rambling so <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hashtag Roxley. We'll see you guys in the next video. 